Hello, this is Jessica Cody and Anila Patel. Today, we will be exploring Google Expeditions. It is an app that can be used to take virtual reality field trips right from the comfort of your home or your classroom. Before we get started, don't forget to, to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Google Expeditions. With Google Expedition, you can take a field trip virtually anywhere without leaving your classroom. We're going to look at Google Expeditions today, but the very first thing you have to remember to do is install the app on your device. Um, Google Expedition will only work on a mobile device, such as an iPhone, an iPad, um, an Android phone or a tablet, um, or a Chromebook. There is no web-based version of Google Expedition. So once you have installed the app, either through the App Store or Google Play Store, um, then you're ready to go. Um, I've already downloaded my app, so I'm going to go ahead and open them up. So this right here is my teacher side. I'm gonna open my teacher side. And this right here is my student side. I'm gonna open my student side and we're ready to go. As you can see, they look identical. But once we get logged in and get going, you're gonna see how the teacher side is very different than the student side. Before we get started, there is a very important point to remember. The most important thing to remember um, is that you and your students must be on the same Wi-Fi network for Google Expeditions guided tours to work. So if you're having issues where a student can't find your guided tour, um, check your Wi-Fi network to make sure you're on the same network. That's usually um, a quick solve for that problem. So let's take a look at how to travel the world without leaving your computer. So as you can see, on my right side here, it's the teacher view. And on the left side, you'll see the student view. Now again, they look identical right now. Um, on the teacher side, I'm going to sign in to guide tours because I want to guide a tour today. I want to guide my students through an expedition. So I'm going to sign in and I'm going to use my g.ori County Schools login to sign in. You can use any Gmail account. Um, it has to be a Gmail. But um, if you are using this through Ori County Schools, you can use your g. account. Um, and then I'm I've logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit got it. So I'm good. Now on the student side, if you want your students to sign in, they can. They don't have to sign in to just follow your tour. So right now we're just going to continue without signing in. But again, you can have them sign in if you want them to. It's not they can sign in using their GDOT account. But again, unless they are actually guiding a tour, there is no need for them to sign in. So I'm going to continue without signing in. And you're going to see on the student side, this little circle popped up and I'm gonna press class because they want to go to the class. I'm gonna click. Let's look at the teacher side again to choose a place to visit. So you can see on the student side, again, it's telling us to hang tight. On the teacher side, you're gonna see a dashboard. There are many of the popular tours on this dashboard or you can search for a tour. So if there's a specific tour that fits your curriculum, a place that you're studying, if you're studying to architecture from a particular place or a time period, you can search up here. Um, you can even do this part beforehand and download your favorite tours to your library so you won't have to search later. So I'm gonna search for a tour. I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna search for the great wall of china so you can see how oops how my tour started to really narrow down as i started typing um right here the great wall of china has four scenes and then there's another one that says the seven wonders of the world and that has seven scenes so 
my assumption is that the Great Wall of China is in this expedition as well. Um, I'm going to click on the one that just says the Great Wall of China. So I'm going to click it. And I'm actually going to download to view or guide. So you want to download it to your computer. And this, again, will sit in your library for you to use at any point. So it's downloading right now. And now I have downloaded it to my library. Um, I want to show you where it will sit. So I'm going to X out of here for just a minute. I want to show you where it will sit if you are on your home screen and wanted to access this later. Um, it's right here in my library. I'm going to click library. And there it is, the Great Wall of China. So I've downloaded the Great Wall of China. And again, this tells me that the Great Wall of China has four scenes to explore. I'm going to click it and I want to guide this tour. So once I open this expedition, I want to click on guide. Now, if you're not guiding and you just want to explore the scenes, then you can click on view. If you have a set of VR goggles and a little iPod or iPhone to put in your goggles, you can click view in VR. But I'm going to guide this tour because I want my students to um, be on this expedition with me. So I'm going to click guide and I'm almost ready to go. Okay, so just a minute. So as you can see, it's pulling up my tour. Once I click guide, a couple of things will happen on the teacher side. So you notice a box appeared with your name. So right there is my name. Uh, make sure that's correct because this is what the kids will see. Now let's have your students join your tour. On the student side, you're going to notice that a box appeared with the expedition and with your name. Now, if the kids do not see your tour, there's a couple of things that you can check. One, make sure that they've clicked the little class button down here. Um, the second thing to make sure is that they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you. Um, again, like I said at the beginning, that's one of the biggest issues um, that students have when they don't see your guided tour is that they're on a different Wi-Fi network. So you're going to have the students join your tour. Um, so once they've joined, they're going to be asked to hold on. And that's your cue now to start the tour. Your tour will not start if until you press start on the teacher side. So once I start the tour, watch what happens on the teacher side and on the student side. So just keep your eyes on both sides here. I'm going to click start on the teacher side. And I'm going to hit got it here. OK, there you go. So if you look at the teacher side and the student side, the same scene is on both sides. But there's a few differences to the teacher side than the student side. So now that I have the students connected, I can start my tour. I want you to look at this from both views as a student as a, and as a teacher, because on the teacher view, um, the teacher view has a few items that will make monitoring and guiding your tour effortless. The first thing to notice is on the top right hand corner, you'll see how many students have joined your tour. I only have one student that's joined um, my tour today. So up here, you can see that there's a little number one. Along with the number on the teacher side, you should see a smiley face. That is the student. So wherever the student moves on their screen, the smiley face should move on your screen. So let's look at the student screen here. I'm going to let, I'm going to tell my students, okay, just take a second to explore the Great Wall of China. So as you can see on the teacher side, that smiley face is moving 
to wherever my students go. Now, I only have one student, so there's only one number and one smiley face. If you have 10 to 20 students, you'll see that number up here and you'll see that many smiley faces scattered amongst your scene. So it's a great way to make sure that all of your kids have joined your tour. If you want your students to look at a particular item on the scene, there's a drawing tool that'll help um, you guide them to whatever you want them to look at. So just say, I want my students to look at these people right here on my side. You can click up here to this little scribble and you can either draw an arrow or you can draw a circle, whatever it is you want to draw to, to guide them to that particular feature. And then you're going to notice on the student side, whatever I drew on my teacher side appears. Let me finish the circle. There we go. Another, you can hit reset up here to delete, and it deletes from both sides. Another tool to help guide me through my tour um, are the notes and questions. So every single scene in every single expedition has this feature. If you click down here, you're going to see that there are detailed notes. So every expedition has detailed information and questions at every level, so beginner, intermediate, and advanced level, to help you guide the students through the tour and to make sure that they're getting information, that they're engaged, and that they're listening. Earlier, we saw that this particular expedition had four scenes. So when I'm ready to take my students to the next scene, I'm going to pause my tour. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click this pause button. And you're going to see on the student side that they're paused, so they can't do anything right now. They're just they're waiting. Um, and I'm going to take them to the next scene on the Great Wall of China tour. So it's right here. If you just go to the next, if you look down here, you can toggle in between all of the scenes. Um, I'm going to click the start button on my next scene. And it starts on their end. So you can see that their scene is identical to what I have on my screen. I can take my time exploring this scene, guiding my students through this particular scene, looking at the architecture, looking at the landscape, or my students could take time exploring on their own. My notes are there. My questions are there at every level. So beginner, intermediate, advanced. And then when I'm ready to move on to my next scene, I'm going to again press pause and toggle to the next scene. So as you can see, it's very easy to move from scene to scene in Google Expeditions. Now, if I want to leave this tour and start a completely different expedition with my students, obviously it's very easy to do that. I'm going to just X out here. I'm going to leave my expedition. And you're going to see that even my student side left the expedition as well because you are in complete control of your guided tour. I am going to X out of there. I'm going to use the back arrow and I'm going to search for another tour. This is where um, your pre-planning will really come in handy. So if you've already gotten a bunch of tours downloaded, um, that will make it that much quicker and easier. Um, but searching for tours is not that difficult as well. Let's leave China and go to Egypt. I'm going to go to ancient Egypt right here. 
five scenes. So again, I'm going to download because we always want to download the tour. It won't let you guide the tour without downloading it. And downloading doesn't take all that long. So again, I'm going to guide my tour. My students are already connected to my tour, so it should be no problem just to switch over to um, a new guided tour. Now, if you're starting brand new, obviously you're going to have them join your tour again. I'm gonna click got it. Now there's the Nile River. You can look at the rulers of Egypt, which is really cool. Egyptian religion. and building the pyramids. This one has five scenes. So there's um, an inside the tomb. This one's always a hit with the kids. Um, I'm gonna click start and you're gonna notice on the kids side, it brought them to my tour. And we're gonna explore the inside of a tomb. They can look at hieroglyphics. They could look at mummification. And again, the smiley face is moving as my students are moving. There are notes for you to read on the teacher side and so on. So as you can see, there are so many ways to use Google Expeditions to explore the world um, and take a VR field trip without even leaving the classroom. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear D-I-S-E-S again at Dear D-I-S-E-S on social media or contact us via email or our blog.